This is London. It's the third most populated city in the whole of Europe. There are currently 8.6 million people living here, and in 2050, it will be closer to 11 million. All of these people will need homes, offices, and anonymities. Now, not only will the construction of these buildings leave an enormous impact on the environment, the usage of the facilities within them will as well. This is also London. This is the view our team was introduced to when we came one morning to the Sky Garden in the fifth tallest building in London. It could be considered as a stroke of bad luck that we couldn't film the imposing skyline from this location. What is worth noting, however, is that the fog that completely covers the windows of this massive building is not natural. The fog is direct evidence that our environment is rapidly taking a turn for the worse. One of many ways to reduce our impact on the environment is the development of sustainable architecture. While there is no clear definition of exactly what sustainable architecture is, there are certain elements that makes a building more environmentally friendly. Things like solar paneling, solar lighting, rainwater harvesting and ground source heating. There are elements of sustainable architecture that are not only environmentally friendly, but aesthetically pleasing as well. This is the crystal. It can be considered the crown jewel of the sustainable buildings in London. The crystal was made with the environment at the heart of the design process. Among several things, it recycles 100% of its water through a process known as black water treatment making its water supply completely self-contained. Sustainable architecture is an important weapon in the war against climate change. Now, many of the examples we have seen in this film may only be considered concepts. They are expensive and truly impressive pieces of architectural art. But what we need for tomorrow is for them to become the norm for new buildings all over the world.